Hello! Welcome to another week's reading vlog. I hope you are well. I hope you're having a good week or have had a good week or are doing the best impression of a good week you can. But we'll move on. I hope you're doing okay. Um, welcome to a vlog. I'm feeling way better this week than I did last week. If you saw last week's vlog, you will know that I had a pretty shitty week myself. I just did not feel me. I was a bit blur. I didn't vlog much, didn't read much, didn't do much at all. And I'm really hoping that this week is going to be better for my mentality than last week was. And we're off to an okay start. Um, it is Tuesday because <laughs> Yesterday I was at work until seven. I didn't get home from work until half seven last night. Um, and then I edited what I had of last week's vlog. I say edited, it was very lightly edited. I didn't edit much of it really. But yeah, I did that and that's pretty much the evening then over. So went to bed. <laughs> but it's Tuesday now. I got home from work at about four o'clock today because of the overtime I did yesterday and last week I did a little bit as well so I got out of work early. I have got home and been incredibly productive, done everything that I wanted to get done this afternoon and managed to do it by half past five and half past five is when I finish work, like if I finish on time. So the fact that I've managed to get home, tidy the living room, tidy the kitchen, hoover the living room, um, clean like all the surfaces, like disinfect all the surfaces in the living room and the kitchen and then I disinfected the bathroom as well and washed my hair. Oh and I hoovered the kitchen and the bathroom as well. Yeah. I did everything. Oh and I put all the laundry away. <laughs> Pretty much got home from work, wrote myself a to-do list of if I get all this done I can then just chill out and I've got it all done. So hooray. And it's only half five, which is the time I would normally be finishing work. Like I wouldn't even be home yet normally. So big fat accomplishment. And that really helps with like getting my mind back on track. Like knowing, knowing everything's done, knowing that my environment is tidy. And even just the fact that everything smells like disinfectant makes me weirdly happy. I've got like a tropical, not tropical, it's some sort of like red berry scented disinfectant and it smells really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. And I've got my Scentsy warmer on. Um, I've spoken about Scentsy before, like my little um, wax warmer thing that has a bar in it at the minute. I can't remember, it's like unicorn confetti or something that just smells delicious. <laughs> so the house smells like a mixture of that and disinfectant, so it smells very good. <laughs> um, that was a long way of saying I've accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish, so I can just chill out this afternoon slash evening. I might film something this evening, but I'm not sure because I don't know what to film. I've kind of put a tweet, kind of put a tweet out. I've put a tweet out. No one's responded, no one cares. <laughs> um, but I, I feel like filming, I just don't know what. If you have any ideas, for things that you want to see from me, like videos you would like me to film, please drop them in the comments because ideas are always in short supply and like can never have too many. So if you have something that you specifically would like to see from me, let me know. Um, I do have one video idea, but I don't know if I'm in the best place to film it right now or if I should wait until I've got like more to add to it. Um, but that's besides the point. Otherwise, the only thing on my list that I have not yet done is start a new book. I am still reading Crescent City, but I am plodding through that real slowly. I just am not dedicating the time to it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. It's not that I'm not enjoying it. I think I'm scared of it. Uh, I think it's intimidating me a little bit too much. Like, I want to dedicate a whole day to just read it, and I don't have that sort of time. I might at the weekend, but I don't right now. So, my plan, although I might read some of it tonight, but I need to start a new book. And the plan for that is to start The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. It's really reflective, isn't it? But this beautiful looking book. Now, I have seen some mixed things about this. I was really excited about it. It's a retelling of Arthurian legend where Guinevere 
marries Arthur, but she is a changeling who has to like protect him or something. It interested me. I am very curious about it. And I had relatively high hopes, but I've since seen some not so great reviews. And I know that Ashley only gave it two stars and this was actually gifted to me by Ashley. You probably saw in my little clip yesterday where I pretended I was gonna read it. Like I had all intention of reading it. Then got a message from Pris because we're buddy reading it. I haven't mentioned that either, we're buddy reading it. Got a message from Pris saying that we'd start today, not yesterday. <laughs> Um, so I had all intention and then just didn't. But yeah, uh, you probably saw in that clip the gift note from Ashley. But she didn't actually like it herself, so I am a little bit more apprehensive about it. But me and Pris are buddy reading it. We're reading chapters one to four today. And we've kind of said if we're not enjoying it by like the hundred page mark, then we'll probably DNF it. But we'll see what happens. Just because a load of people that I've seen have hated it doesn't mean I will. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But this is the plan now. Start my new book and then everything on that to-do list is done. So success. Hello, I just wanted to do a quick update and say hi because I feel like I haven't spoken to you in a while again. Um, it's Thursday, Thursday evening, home from work obviously. Um, I am off work tomorrow and Monday next week actually, so I have like a four day weekend, very exciting. Um, pretty much just to play Animal Crossing, very exciting. Um, I am probably going to be playing from midnight until I go to bed Monday night, so my reading ain't looking good is it? Um, I have read nothing more of Crescent City. I am procrastinating so hard. And for the Guinevere Deception, it's downstairs, I don't have it on me. Um, I am a couple of chapters into that. I'm gonna read some more of that before I get my mitts on Animal Crossing. Um, but yeah, a couple of chapters. I'm not sure about the writing style on that one so far, but the plot is intriguing me. Um, so we'll give that some more time. But I just thought I'd come and say hi, because I haven't. <laughs> and um, yeah, this March reading thing is still completely shit. I am reading pretty much nothing. It is what it is and I'm gonna blame the world for it because honestly it's just been draining, hasn't it? Oh, just looking at my Mother's Day card over there. I'm not even gonna be able to go and see my mum on Sunday. It's a bit shit, hey. I'm gonna go and preload Animal Crossing. <laughs> Time for a quick update. It is Friday, it is like half past two on Friday. I'm not at work today. I think I've already explained that I've got today off work for Animal Crossing. Um, I started playing Animal Crossing at midnight as soon as I could get on it. I didn't go to bed until about quarter past two this morning playing Animal Crossing. Um, I then got up at about 10 o'clock and played Animal Crossing in bed until about quarter past two this afternoon. So I got up like 15 minutes ago. Now look like this. Made myself a smoothie here and I have to go and drop off some stuff to my grandfather who is um, isolating. So I'm gonna knock on his door, drop some stuff off on his doorstep and run away. <laughs> um, and then I need to do something similar with my mother. Except she needs to give me something. So I think she's gonna like throw it out the door at me and then I'm gonna grab it and run away. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't done any reading, but I've been playing Animal Crossing. So that's that. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do all day today. Probably all I'm gonna do all weekend. I just really wanna play Animal Crossing constantly. And I'm enjoying it a lot so far. So yeah. I've already paid off my moving fees. I did that really quite early. <laughs> Didn't take me long. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's going. I'm enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to coming back home and getting back in bed and playing Animal Crossing. Hello, it is a bit later. I've got back from running errands for people now. Um, and I don't know if anyone actually cares about this, but as you can see, I got another whiff box. I unboxed a whiff box in one of my vlogs a while back. Um, I don't get these every month, just when like there's value goodies in here. Um, but this is from Scentsy. 
and it's full of smelly goodies so I'm sure I've mentioned like my wax warmers that I have in the house and I use Scentsy's laundry products and stuff. I like their stuff, it smells good. Um, my mum is like a representative consultant person and sells this stuff as well so supporting her little business and products that I genuinely like anyway. Um, but I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing because it's a box and who doesn't like an unboxing? And I'm excited. It's really heavy and really large. I don't remember the last one being this big. Oh, that sun is coming right through that window, isn't it? Ta-da! Get ready for brighter days to come as that sun smacks me in the face. Like, could we not do that? Scooching in a little closer to the sofa so that's not in my face, but um, get ready for brighter days to come, apparently. Right, first thing is a wax bar. These are the waxes that go in the warmers that I have, and this is Life in Bloom. Probably going to be floral, which is not normally my favourite. Oh, it is floral, but it's also quite fresh. I don't hate it. Um, then we have a tester or like sample pot of Be Fabulous, whatever that's supposed to smell like. Oh, oh. That made my mouth water a lot. I like that. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Next is one of the like scent circle things in Windowsill Breeze. This is a famous scent of theirs that is just fresh, fresh air. It's quite nice. Um, and I have one of these hanging up in the bathroom actually that's lost its scent so I'm gonna replace it. Um, samples of laundry liquid. This is the stuff that I use anyway. I don't use this scent. Um, this is the clothesline scent. I use the mango scent which they've stopped doing but I have four bottles of it so I'll be alright for a little while. Um, and some washer whiffs to go with it. These are like salty things that you throw in that are smelly. And the star of the shows is one big bottle of bathroom cleaner. This is Lemon Verbena. I had one of these before in coconut lemongrass and I swear to you, right, I dye my hair a lot. I've stained bathtubs a lot. Nothing has got rid of hair dye stains in a bath as good as this has from my experience. And I've dyed a lot of bathtubs. This one is a big bottle of washing up liquid. I have not tried their washing up liquid but this is in the coconut lemongrass scent that I just spoke about. So again, lemony. I can smell it through the seal. Mm. I don't normally like coconut but it's kind of like a sweeter, fresher coconut. I don't know how to explain that but washing up liquid, always handy to have. And then this last one is counter cleaner. So this is like a kitchen top cleaner in lemon squeeze. So again, very lemony. So a few cleaning products there. I'm excited about all that. I really like their bathroom cleaner and I've not tried the counter cleaner or the washing up liquid before. So will be nice to try them out. This is a bit random really, isn't it? There isn't anything else in here, is there? No, that is everything. Um, bit of a random unboxing for this vlog, but like if you're interested, there you go. Um, I'm gonna put that stuff away now and go back to bed and play Animal Crossing for a bit longer. <laughs>
just wanted to do a super quick update to say all I've done all day is play Animal Crossing and I am the happiest I have ever been. <laughs> and yeah, there's really not much more to it. My camp looks adorable. I've collected all of the fruits. They're all planted and growing. Um, I know a lot of people have been time hopping so are like way further ahead than me but I just cannot bring myself to do that. I, I don't change the time on it. I did like when I was younger on the older games but I, I just can't do that. So I'm doing it totally legit, no time hopping, waiting for things to grow, waiting for things to be built. So I'm still waiting for the museum to be built, which should happen tomorrow. And I'm hoping that tonight I can get all of the iron nuggets to do the shop. Um, but that does mean I'm gonna have to nip out to a few random islands to try and get iron nuggets. Um, but I'm like halfway there with that and I've collected all the other bits, so that's fine. But hopefully, if I can do that tonight, then I can pitch the position for the shop tonight and then that would be open tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, I'm having a really good time, basically. Um, so you probably won't hear from me again today and the only update you'll probably get from me tomorrow is similar to this one in that I haven't done anything except play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Relatively quick Sunday update. I have my glasses on. I am drinking tea from my Animal Crossing mug. Delicious. I am playing Animal Crossing, but I've put it on the big screen now. Hence the glasses, because can't see it otherwise. <laughs> Boom. You can see Jake there as well. Ooh. Boom, I've got the shop. See the shop? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a bit more in focus now, isn't it? Beautiful. So yeah, this is me set up. And this is probably how it's gonna be for the rest of the day. So um, I don't even know where my book is, but it's not getting read. Videos, not getting filmed. This vlog, just Animal Crossing, probably really shit, sorry. <laughs> I'm having far too much fun to want to do anything else. So it is what it is. Hey, it's nearly eight o'clock. I'm still playing Animal Crossing. I pretty much have not moved, um, other than to do dinner and put a bit of a face mask on. I had a bit of a situation on my forehead and my chin, you probably saw. Um, so I thought, you know, do a bit of a like, targeted mask rather than a full mask because the rest of my face is not that bad just targeted areas and then I can keep my glasses on and continue to play Animal Crossing so that's what I'm gonna do <sighs> this vlog is probably like really boring for you because I have nothing to really update you on other than the fact that I'm having the best time of my life so it's 20 past 12 on Sunday night slash Monday morning so I figure I should probably wrap up this vlog. I still have not moved and have been playing Animal Crossing. I am now switching off to go to bed but I mean there's a fairly decent chance I may continue to play in bed. <laughs> Um, and I'm not at work tomorrow either because I booked like a four day weekend specifically to play Animal Crossing. So I don't feel bad about this. I feel a little bit bad that I have finished one book in March. I don't even want to know how far behind my Goodreads goal I am. I'm just hoping and praying that in April because the owls are in April and I'm gonna aim to do all 12 of those that I can somehow make up for how terrible this month's been. But I mean, it's not like I haven't been busy. I don't think I've mentioned it in this vlog, but I did mention it on Twitter. I've got a promotion at work this week. So, I mean, success. Um, I'm rewarding myself by letting myself play Animal Crossing with no consequence. Um, so yeah, that happened, which was pretty cool, um, and I've just been having a really good time playing Animal Crossing, so there isn't much guilt, and fingers crossed, in April I can make up for the lost time I've got here. I mean, I know March isn't over, it's just this week that's over, 
but I'm really not gonna lie to myself and pretend that next week I'm not gonna be like equally as addicted to Animal Crossing because I am. <laughs> So we will see what happens to a vlog next week. Um, if I read anything, I don't know. Um, hopefully I can actually film something though. I need to film TBR Pursuit, really, don't I? I'm making no promises that I will do anything other than play Animal Crossing because that is all I want to do. And I mean, when the world is as on fire as the world is right now, small joys. Yeah, right, anyway. Um, as I say, it's late. It's like 20 past midnight, nearing half midnight. So I'm gonna switch off. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't know what it was. Um, I should edit it tomorrow, but I'm just gonna wanna play Animal Crossing tomorrow. I'll make time somewhere <laughs> to edit this in between Animal Crossing. But yeah, I will see you in whatever comes next. But honestly, I have no idea what that is, so. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.